Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Henry. Uh, it is 9:54 a.m. In just about six minutes, we're going to be getting the U.S. new home sales. The plan for this trade is pretty simple. We're going to be looking for about 70,000 of deviation, and if we do get our tradable deviation, we'll look at the market. 20,000 to 350,000, and it gets out just 330,000. July new home sales data and the June and second quarter house price index should be on just a few seconds. 276,000, 276,000 below the 330,000 expected power buys lower to 315,000 from 30 to 30,000. Deployment in Mexico 5.7%. Month supply rising to 9.1 months versus eight months in June. Median price coming in at 204,000, down almost 5% year over year. This price index quarter over quarter plus year. 0.9 percent better than minus 0.4 percent expected for q2 all right guys we have 276,000 versus 330 and immediately we're seeing a little bit of weakness in the u.s dollar not too much against the euro about 9 10 pip on the dollar cap front we're actually seeing a stronger cap but initially we saw a little bit of stronger u.s dollar so the market is not really giving us a direction on where to go with this release and we're seeing some consolidation afterwards but pretty much market to ignore this US dollar Japanese yen dropped about 16 pips so generally we have a pretty much lackluster uh, market coming into today we have pretty much no reaction whatsoever in the market okay so obviously the key to retracement trade I'm going to take this moment and explain the key to retracement trade is number one we need to wait for the release to hit our target and 276 but well, we're waiting for 260 276 is close but it didn't quite hit our target Number two, we need to wait and make sure that the market gives us momentum. And momentum means we need to see a spike in the direction of the trade. Uh, we didn't see that. And number three, we need to wait for retracement, which we didn't see that either. So looking at all these, I believe that it's better we stay out of the market. So this will be a no trade. Just want to call your attention really quick. I'm looking at the dollar cat right now. And I'm going to go ahead and call a sell trade. Let's go ahead and do that. Sell USD cat 1.06. 40 let's use 40 pip stop loss and let's try to get 50 out of this one all right there we go all right very well we're obviously seeing that the dollar cat if you look at the daily chart dollar cat is hitting on a strong resistance level we saw the dollar cat went overnight to as high as about 106 66 unable to really break above it so yesterday so we got an in around the 10640 and I believe the market given the fact we just got a weak US number we should see some reversal especially at the current level for the dollar cat to drop down when you trade cat in this ranged trading in a mixed market like this is actually better than in a trending market so i believe that we'll probably see the dollar cap drop if not now after around 11 30 or so it should drop even more okay so i'm going to type everything i just went through in the announcements so you guys can refer to it i'll keep an eye on the market if i see another trading opportunity i'll come back and i'll share with you guys